Hello, I'm Allison, Allison Kent Home Kitchen. We're going to try one more time to bring in Stong's Market. And we're talking to Frank Rainey, who's the Director of Operations. There he is. He's joined. Let's see if he pops up. I have a request. Are you there? You're there. We got you. Third time lucky. Third time was the charm today. Yeah, I'm so sorry. We had some technical difficulties. <laughs> That's okay. I was trying to click your buttons and then it was just too many buttons to press. So I just started it again. It all worked out. Yeah. Um, I was just talking about how Stong's is um, local grocery, but really big in supporting the community and the local food industry in lots and lots of ways. So we wanted to talk about a bit of that today. Welcome, Frank. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, well, just a, a little bit about Stongs, I guess. Um, you know, for those that uh, live in the Dunbar area, you would know us very well. We've been there since 1931. Um, the Stongs family were initially farmers back in Ontario that moved uh, to the West Coast. One brother went to Seattle, um, was involved with the Pikes Place, and then another one came to Vancouver and started a similar market here called Grand Union, um, which didn't last like Pikes Place did. Um, but then eventually we settled on the Dunbar um, um, Street and we've been there for many, many years. We've moved a couple times. Um, those that know the Dunbar will know that the Shoppers Drug Mart used to be the Stong store and then we moved down to where Super Value is, which yep. was the iconic Stongs that most people remember and still talk about. And now we're in a new uh, location there in the Ivy. So um, expanded several times over the years um, had a rich history long history with with local ownership here in vancouver and um, are proud to be part of the neighborhood and the new ones in um north vancouver right we did we, we which is strangely the one i go to most because it's across the street from my husband's office even <laughs> though i live closer to dunbar yeah no we're very proud of the store we built here it's uh it, it's got a very kind of whistler-esque feel the entire mall development is is very cool um and we think we've developed uh, a kind of a nice market feel uh, sort of a granville islandish sort of feel inside of our store which um, a lot of people like um, have really come to appreciate the store is growing leaps and bounds the uh, the neighborhood's really engaged with it um yeah, yeah, and we've got a, you know, we have a history on, on the North Shore. We actually used to have a store out in Dundaray, those that uh, remember the old um, store that's out there. Uh, it, you can go back into the West Vancouver archives and look at all kinds of famous uh, shots of the Stong store out there. Um, that was actually where I originally, that's kind of why I joined Stong's, is I had a job back in, back in the 70s cleaning the store at 11 o'clock at night for a company <laughs> called Joe Hanlon's Floor and Window Cleaning. And I thought this would be a great circle of life for me to come back and finish my career working with Stongs. Um, then we had a store out in Deep Cove, uh, which is currently the, uh, the, the Nestor store out there. Um, we had oh, yes. mm -hmm. Edgemont Village yep. uh, for many years, which a lot of people will remember. And we also had one in Lynn Valley. Um, we, you know, I've been told we had one on Rupert Street in East Vancouver, and I hear a lot of people talk about that store, but I, I didn't know much about it. Um, so we were actually six stores deep at one time, and then we sort of contracted back in the 80s uh, to our Dunbar location. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, there was a, 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 you know, a, a bit of a contraction that was happening in a lot of the grocery business at that time. Um, but still very much rooted throughout Vancouver and throughout all the communities here. And, you know, very much a local story that spanned, oh, goodness, over 100 years now. Oh, yes, very much so. And, and proud to be part of, you know, what we're doing right now, which is, you know, trying to grow the Stong's name again on the North Shore. And we do have plans to expand, um, always looking for opportunities. So. Carisdale, I vote Carisdale. Carisdale. Um, and that's how I've seen a lot of you guys too, is both my sons went through the Little League and constantly seeing Stong's name, supporting Little League, supporting um one of my favorites the greek days in kitsilano which is one of my all-time favorite events in vancouver and just so many places like all every community you don't just support the little community that you have a store in. it's just you are very community based throughout vancouver which i really love and respect yeah well i mean you know we've um 
we, we try to get to everywhere. We used to, you know, have more influence out in the, in the valley and whatnot. Right now we're sort of focused on, on Vancouver and North Vancouver. Um, you know, for those of you that are out in the valley, hopefully we will get back out there again or someday. Um, love to, you know, get to meet more people. Um, we, we do uh, a lot of sponsorships with, with uh, North Shore soccer and baseball and youth volleyball. Um, and like I said, if you go back in the archives, you can find that the Stongs are connected to the Dunbar Little League. Um, actually, Ralph Stong um, was one of the co-founders of that in, um, that entire league. Uh, we also sponsor soccer in the Dunbar area as well. Um, get involved quite a bit with UBC. Uh, we, we, we sponsor their longest day race every year. I've uh, been doing that for a number of years and, you know, feel like the sports connection is really one of the ones that we really like to connect with kids and families. So that we've chosen that as kind of one of our pillars of charity. So. And it's like sports and eating well and healthy lifestyle, it all really goes hand in hand too. It does. And I think um, one of the other things that, that we've talked about together that makes Stong such a great place to go is um, you've mentioned that a lot of the staff are just like you came back after however many years, we won't say how many. And a lot of long-term staff is, has been there throughout and um, just creating that kind of sense of like, we really value this place. We really value this company. And that's always a good story to tell. Yeah, well, you know, and when we split the two stores up, we had initially, we were all in Dunbar and everybody that, you know, our staff were anxious to come back to the Dunbar area. But then when they spent some time in the North Vancouver store and um, we almost had a 50-50 divide of people that found it more convenient or found that right. they liked North Vancouver and those that wanted to go back to the Dunbar store when we reopened it um, after we moved for the um, fourth time on Dunbar. And, and it's great having the experience like these people, um, you know, bring with them a wealth of knowledge that you just can't get from taking a course, uh, you know, having lived and breathed groceries for all of their lives. Uh, yeah. Tremendous. I mean, I've learned so much since I've joined the company. So, Well, and speaking of groceries, one of the, I guess, it's still kind of a community thing and a food thing and everything all rolled into one. But you guys have a lot of ways of supporting the local food industry, whether it's by which a lot of local grocery stores might have like local chicken and local milk and whatever. But you guys take it quite a few steps further. You have an entire you have entire sections of the store that are just all BC products. And so supporting the local, like, um, we'll get to it, but like, there's just so many people in Vancouver that are making really good food and you guys support a lot of that within your stores. Oh, and, and it's it, every day we, we get presentations or emails or requests to carry product. And, you know, being that it's one of our pillars is to support local. Um, you know, we look at those items above and beyond anything else. And it's amazing the number of, especially during this pandemic, the, the people that have just started, you know, doing creations or, or you know, chasing their dreams of build, you know, having a bakery or a restaurant. It, it's one of the, uh, you know, and we just love being able to support them. Um, uh, I don't know if you want to talk about, you know, like the baking industry by itself. And obviously a lot of local artists and bakeries that we support. Um, there's Terra, there's uh, Olivier's, there's Portofino, there's Uprising, there's Hills. They, they all have little cafes and shops along the way and they've all, you know, sold their bread out. Um, and we like to feature those along with the stuff that we make, you know, but, um, you know, as we've discovered, you know, it, it, everybody has a favorite. And it's one of the things that we would like to do at Stong's is, is try to carry everybody's favorite stuff. I mean, it's impossible to be, you know, everything to everybody. Yeah. But that is also one of the founding creeds of, um, of our owner is that if somebody asks for something, let's at least give it a shot, right? So, Well, and I think like there's some, like you mentioned, Terra Bread that's been um, local and, and making really good quality food for a long time. But then there's also now the restaurants that have had to pivot, for lack of a funner word. And uh, they're creating some of their sauces and some of their little eclectic kind of food offerings that also get offered at the grocery store now too. And you could almost have an entire like Costco sized grocery store just of local product at this point. There's so much good food happening in Vancouver and in BC. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and uh, you know, we've looked and we've reached out and or had some restaurants reach out to us um, to, to be able to put their products into our store because they're not able to sell at full capacity. 
Um, and we've had some, you know, great success with a few of them. We just recently put uh, La Quercia, which if, if you live in the Kits area, you would be familiar with La Quercia. Um, we, we put a cooler in and we, we listed about six of his products and literally in the first day just sold out completely. Um, everybody coming in because they, you know, they hadn't been able to go into the restaurant and, and see the food. Uh, another one here on the North Shore is, uh, is, is the Workshop, which is a, a vegetarian um, restaurant. And we've introduced their lines in the frozen section and in our HMR section, whole meal replacement um, section, and had great success with both of them. Um, I think local people shopping for groceries just really love to support other local companies. Like it's a great, Vancouver's just great for that. Greater Vancouver is amazing for being so excited about supporting local uh, commissaries, food makers, restaurants, like all that, we, we get excited about it. It's fun. It's nice to recognize a name or to look on a label and say, wow, that was just made. I just bought, um, you had Greek potatoes and I'm going to have to post them later because I've forgotten their name temporarily, but it's a restaurant in West Kelowna that makes these like Greek roast potatoes that I'm so excited for. <laughs> oh. But there's just so much variety and so much food. And like in the past number of years, not necessarily with stongs but with a lot of grocery shopping you just don't want to necessarily you were always told to perimeter shop and only buy fresh food and make everything from scratch because all the prepackaged stuff was too high in salt too lacking in nutrients too over processed but now these local people are being really mindful and they're they're really taking care with their ingredients and what with their offering and i'm excited to get back into packaged food again and it helps. You can't make everything from scratch all the time. And I cook a lot. And I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's interesting talking to, um, to Adam from La Quercia, for instance, and, and the type of technologies are, that are out there that allow them to package the food without preservatives, um, yet keep it fresh for a few days, before, you know, giving it an opportunity to sell. Um, it, it, you know, it's, it's your, to your point, it's, you know, package doesn't necessarily mean that it's not fresh anymore. Um, and, and all of these restaurants that we're, we're supporting, we, we're trying to get that product into the people's hands as fresh as it can be. So. The next best, best thing to actually being there. Yeah. I was, um, last week I went with the president. We went to a, a restaurant over on Commercial Drive called the Drive Cafe. And we're looking at actually bringing in um, his fresh pasta program he actually makes pasta fresh on site and we were looking at ways that we could possibly offer that in our hmr section as an off you know it's right. simple it's easy to do and if you if you know true italian um, there's maybe only five ingredients that are used in true italian cooking and um, if you have true italian cooking done well um, it's amazing right it, it doesn't need a lot of um, stuff put on top of it and uh you know, so we're looking at making that an offering for our customers. Um, love, to, love again, like to be able to tie ourselves to Commercial Drive, and you know, because nothing says Italian like Commercial Drive does, right? No, not in this town. <laughs> um, yeah, you said you've sent lists, and I'll ring some of them off because there's just so many, and I like to get their names out there. But you've mentioned some of the breads, um, your meats. You said Hank's grass-fed meats in Pemberton Haven Farms and Dirty Apron has stuff out. And I know Vikram Viges has had stuff out for a long time. He's actually one of the first restaurants, I think, to put out kind of commissary waste food from his restaurant recipes. Okay. Two Rivers, Savory Island Pie, Ernest Ice Cream. Yum. Um, and you mentioned the drive. And the Workshop Vegetarian. So that one was one, I'm not vegetarian by any stretch, but their packages look so delicious that I'm actually really excited to try some. The last few times I was in your store, I, I had to make a few stops. I think it was in the frozen section. So I'll have to come specifically just to grab a bunch of that. But it's uh, a lot of the stuff is looking really delicious and really, really well made. Yeah, I, you know, I apologize. I was going to bring some up for a show and tell here to actually <laughs> show them to you. And I'm, I'm looking over at my assistant right now. <laughs> <laughs> bakery items off. That's okay. We'll, we'll post some because I like you could probably list a hundred local restaurants and comp and food 
food industry people that are in your store right now. And it's really exciting to see. I know that you we're going through, you just have to look for that blue um, local BC banner wherever you go in the store. You know that you can feel good about supporting another local company. So you're not only supporting Stong's, which is a local company, but also the food makers as another local company. And you mentioned at home delivery. Oh, Yes. You guys were the first ever to do the at-home delivery. I actually remember that like a couple of years ago. Yeah, no, it, the owners have always been interested in, um, you know, being vanguards in, in the grocery business. The express business is, um, we, we like to think we were one of the very first to ever be in it. And um, back in the 80s, just about everybody was in it. And then everyone left it for whatever reason. I, I guess they decided that it wasn't profitable. And I... well, that might have been the end. But they have had the um, meal replacement programs and the home delivery programs for quite some time at Stong. So they are very much on the edge, the cutting edge of things. So definitely look for Stong's. They are at um, Dunbar and North Vancouver with more locations to come. And uh, look for the blue local BC label. They're supporting all kinds of great local commissaries and restaurants and everything we love.